Father, we thank you this, this afternoon for the privilege it is to come together to worship you together as a school family. And during this uh, family worship time, we pray, Lord, that we would be drawn closer to you. Father, today I am especially blessed by Pastor Jeff. I'm so grateful to have a chaplain, a, a school pastor that cares so much about students and their salvation, cares so much about staff and our salvation. And Father, today as Pastor Jeff comes and shares a message, I pray that you would anoint his lips, that you would speak through him so that we would be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So Fletcher, that was you playing the bells? All right. We don't even need handbells anymore. We got the organ. <laughs> sorry. Go on tour, Fletcher. You're sorry, you're right, India. I really love our handbells. I just didn't realize one person could play all of them. Uh, I want to talk to you today about time. About what? Time. And not, I don't want to give you like time management ideas or anything like that necessarily. I just want you to think about time and the time that you find yourself in right now. What time is it? <laughs> All right. Um, I did hear a complaint from a student today. I don't know if Mr. Gardner is in here. Um, but they were saying that those are not clocks. Those are just timers that are set on a... Anyways, check the clock. Oh, uh, there was a big study done by Harvard on uh, what makes people happy over time and how people spend their time based on their age. And so I want to just share some of those insights with you. The first slide that we have coming up here is what, you can't see it, can you? Is it all right? Um, on the left, it's going to go up to five hours per day. And on the bottom, it's going to go from age 15 to 85. All right, do you have any 15-year-olds? All right, great. Any 85-year-olds? 80, okay. Um, that's all right. So, this is the amount of time that you spend, how? There we go. Time with your family. So, when you are young, do you spend more time or less time with your family? More. And as you get older, can you see where that first big dip happens? Where? The first big, like the super decline. 21. 21. So at 21, you start spending way less time for you, way less time with your family. You think that's good or bad? Okay, good. It depends. Depends on the family. Depends on you. Uh, depends on what you got going on. And it's not always what's good or bad. It's what is. Does that make sense? So right now, you, you start earlier because you're at a boarding school, but oftentimes people go away to college, they move out after 18, and then they, sp they, they spend way less time with their families. When do families get together? Christmas, great. Thanksgiving, how many of you got together with family at Thanksgiving? Even if it was just your parents or just your siblings, yes. Um, New Year's, you guys do New Year's as a family? Sometimes, maybe birthday parties? Yes, no, some, how many of you spend Sabbath with your family like as often as possible, like when you're home and things like that? Good, good, good. When, uh, 4th of July, do you do stuff with your family then? Camp meeting. Hey, camp meeting. <laughs> family camp. How many go to family camp at Camp Asable? All right, a few. That's a great time, great time. So as you age, you find that you have less and less time with your family. How many of you saw a grandma or a grandpa over the break? Yeah. How often do you see them? Christmas? Think about this for a second. If you only see some people at Christmas time or on holidays, 
how many more times will you see them before you don't? For some of you, it could be there's only five or six more Christmases with your grandparents. Five or six more Thanksgivings. And how much time do you spend with them during that time? An hour? Maybe? For some of you, you only have 12 more hours with your grandparents. Next slide. Time spent with friends. How many of you enjoy time spent with friends? Yes, good. So when you are at about 18, that's the peak. The peak amount of time that you spend with friends. And how much time is it? Two and a half hours a day, more or less, you spend with your friends. Is that true for you right now? How much time do you spend with your friends right now? All day. Isn't that great at Great Lakes? You're all day with your friends. Oh, okay. All right. All day with your friends. All day with your friends. Uh, are you all day with your friends? Or are you all day with classmates? Is there a difference? All right. We all have people that we, we sense a closer bond with, that we might be tighter with. That's normal. It's natural. It's fine. But what happens at about 25? Work happens, I heard. Someone's having a baby. I think that was Larillo. All right, you meet a girl, then you no longer have friends. Is that what you just said? Basically, okay. Okay. All right. That is kind of how it, it happens, um, basically because a lot of our friends are, what's the word? Superfluous. Um, a lot of our friends are goofballs, right, as guys. And so when you do finally meet that lady, she wants you to be less of a goofball, and so spending less time with them. Does that make sense? <laughs> it, it does happen. Uh, anyways, so by the time you are 30, how much time do you get to see your friends? Less than an hour. And this is like on average, right? So you... You add up all the days in a year, it's less than an hour a day. Right now, you're at a place where you get to spend most of the time with your friends. That's exciting. You are unencumbered by the opposite sex in terms of relationships. You can do all kinds of things right now with your friends that in just a few years, you won't be able to do anymore. Next slide. Time spent with your, your partner. All right? Where, where is your time with your partner right now? Zero. All right. Amen. All right. That's what we're going for here at Great Lakes. Zero time. Yes. Good celebration. Zero time with your partner. Zero time. Um, but when do you start to find them? In your tw Don't say never because it's happening. 20, 18, 20, 21, at 26, a big jump happens, and by 30, you're spending three and a half hours a day with your, your partner. Isn't that nice? And then, by the time you are in retirement, 65, you're spending four to five hours a day with them. And then, by the time you're 85, uh, it goes way down because your, your partner dies. <laughs> or you do. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you die. Good point. Men, we typically die earlier. And uh, there's that part. Um, and so what does this tell you about your need to pick a partner? Okay, first, you don't need to pick a partner right now. Secondly, it's one of the most, if not the most important decision of your entire life. Because you will be spending the majority of your hours with that person. And if you hate each other and you uh, stay in a marriage based on morality, whew, that's going to be rough. If you're 15, will you be a different person at 20? When you're 20, will you be a different person at 25? 
So you should probably wait to pick that person you'll spend the rest of your life with until you are the person that you're looking to be. Next slide. Time spent with children. All right. At your age, how much time should you be spending with your children? All right. So we've... We, all right, that, that little bit of time is, is with my children, right? So you are babysitting uh, my kids or someone else's kids, right? That's what that little bit of time is. But by 30, how much time are you spending with kids? You're spending a lot of time with your children. Do you have children now? Should you be looking to have children now? No. You don't need a life partner right now. You don't need children right now. You've got friends. It's good enough. Take advantage of the time that you have. Uh, by the time you hit 60, how much time are you spending with your children? Way less. Your children have families of their own, and they only see you about an hour. You became grandma and grandpa. Next slide. Time with your coworkers. This is more like classmates. Look at how much time you end up spending with your coworkers. Make sure you're picking a career in which you're working with people that you want to work with. Some of you might want to think about getting a job at Great Lakes. Think of how long Mr. Riker has been able to hang here, Mr. Carter, right? Uh, Mr. Garcia, is this year 10 for you? Something like that, 11? Yes, just a tad bit. Ms. Hall's been here a little bit longer. Mr. Thorman has been in education for, for many, many decades. Yes. If you hate the people you work with, you end up hating five to six hours of every day of your life. Pick your career wisely. Next slide. Time spent alone. Right now you have a roommate, amen, enjoy it, all right? You've got hall mates, you've got bathroom mates, is that a thing? How, how do you word that? I mean, you all share toilet tree, no? Keep going, okay. By 85, how much time are you spending alone? Most of your hours every day, you're alone. Most of your friends have died. Um, and uh, you, find it, you find it very challenging to be alone. How many of you enjoy being alone right now? How many of you are like, man, I just want to be alone? Dude, I feel that like every moment of my life. But, but, this isn't a time for you to be alone. That doesn't mean you can't be introverted and get refreshed every now and then. That's not what I'm saying. This is the time for you to be together with your friends and dreaming and then making efforts to accomplish big things. Next slide. So this is how your life will look. On average, this is how you will be spending your time. Where are you at on this graph? You're on the far left, just at the very beginning. Next slide. Jesus said in Luke chapter 12, verse 54, he said also to the people, when you see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway you say, there comes a shower, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, you say, there will be heat, and it comes to pass. Ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that you do not discern this time? Can you go back to the graph quickly? The one that had everything? Can you discern your time? We have a couple weeks before we go back on break. You're wrapping up this semester. Can you discern the time? For some of you, this is your senior year. Can you discern the time? Last slide. The Apostle Paul said, I have learned in whatever circumstances I am to be content. I have learned in whatever circumstances I am to be content. This isn't your time to have children and be with your partner 12 hours a day or whatever it happens to be. 
you live in a very unique time in your history where you are free and capable to do impossible things with God. So do it. Don't make excuses. Don't put it off. Do it. Because you only have this time now. Father, help us to recognize the time. Help us to act, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Dismiss from the front.